biologist. This is Greg Kowalki at Cleveland High School again. Today we are going to revisit our initial models from the beginning of this unit and revise it based upon what we've learned since. So this is 2.6 model revisions. Quick reminder on how to use these PowerPoints. Work at your own pace. Your health and your family come first. Especially in this lesson, if possible, work through it with a colleague. We are revising your models. As you know, it really helps your final explanation if you're able to talk it through with somebody else. Also, your colleague may have some ideas for these models that you may not have thought of and that you may want to add to your model. So I heartily suggest you text, email, or call a friend and work through this together. The driving questions for this unit is how does a fatal disease persist in a family? We've been focusing a lot on sickle cell anemia. So grab your initial models. You either printed this out or did this on a Word document or scribbled it down on a separate sheet of paper, but grab this because we're gonna make our revisions on our initial models. I would also suggest you grab a different color pen or pencil that you, than you used the first time around. That way you can make your revisions and still keep your original thoughts. You'll be able to see how your knowledge and reasoning have changed over time much better that way. So we've learned so many things since our initial model. We've learned that proteins lead to traits. That there are different types of proteins, structural proteins, signaling proteins, receptor proteins, and most importantly, perhaps, the enzymes. These are proteins that help chemical reactions occur. And the function or non-function of these proteins leads to the traits we see. We've also learned how DNA is involved. The DNA has the code to tell the ribosomes what amino acids and what order to put those amino acids in to make a protein. And the shape of the protein leads to the traits we see. So the information in DNA is used to produce the proteins that lead to traits. We've also put this in terms of our cells. We've thought about genotypes, which is the allele of a gene that you have on your chromosome, that single molecule of DNA. And that allele tells your ribosomes which protein to make. And based upon the structure of that protein, you have your phenotype, the trait that we see. So your genotype, which is the allele that you have on your chromosome, leads to the function or non-function of a protein, which leads to the phenotype, which is the trait that you show. You can take all of this information and use this to revise your model. We have a much better idea of what's going on in cells. So change your model with this new information Work on your explanation, revise as you can. Once you've made these revisions on your initial model, once you've talked it out with somebody else so that you know your explanation is good and brings all of these things into play, I want you to go to this sheet here that you should be able to find on Schoology. Print out or you can scribble down the answers on a separate sheet of paper. On this sheet, I want you to explain the changes that you made in your model and the things that you kept. For example, we have learned, let's say that I thought that there was different cells for the disease. Now I know that it's about proteins. Proteins determine the disease. Our evidence, we can go back and talk about the proteins that we saw are involved in that disease and the supporting scientific principle. Proteins determine traits. All right, so look at your initial model. I'm sure you made more than two changes. Tell me about the changes, the evidence from our learning that explains why you made those changes, and your supporting scientific principle. Also, what things were did you keep in your model? What did you think uh, initially that turned out to be based upon the science that we've learned? So 
make your revisions on your model here and tell me about the revisions in that worksheet and then the next step is is we're going to the next big chunk of genetics where we're going to learn about the inheritance part how is it the dna is passed down from generation to generation how did you get your dna and your traits from your parents all right be safe be well wash your hands and we'll see you soon